Hey Phil, this is Matt at Perkins Motorplex. I'm back here behind the scenes a little bit. I pulled this one off the lot. It was actually up by Highway 45, so it is a little dusty. Um, but I pulled this one back by our two recon facilities. You see the smaller one over there, but this was the original one. And then that is actually our Mac and Jack Center. That's one of our five service centers. That's where this one had all of the work done. Uh, wheels and tires, and of course our normal service inspection on it as well. But really good looking truck. Brand new wheels, brand new tires, and of course the six inch lift on it as well. Uh, but the main purpose of this video is not me necessarily, like I said, showing it off. It's more just showing you any imperfections on it. We're a used car store, none of our vehicles are brand new. Um, so they all get a little bit of grace, but uh, I wanna make sure we're trans trans transparent with it as well. I did a pre-walk around video or a pre-walk around before I started filming the video and it's in really, really good shape. There's not much to point out to you, but starting here on the front, um no hail damage no indentions on the hood cracked no cracked headlights of anything that i can see being picky about the size of my index finger there's a small little surface scratch there um and then there was one small touch-up spot again probably wouldn't see it if you just looked at it but uh, again i'm gonna be as picky as i can be uh since you're two and a half hours away from us grill looks great headlights no fogging or cracking in those of course, the brand new tires on it, so you won't have to worry about any new tires anytime soon. And then you get the six inch lift back here as well. Really clean, good looking truck. No door dings on the driver's side or on the bed side here. All of the seals and the side steps look good as well. Back tire looks great. And just a look under here at the frame. Everything looks to be in great shape. Very clean underneath as well. Just uh, does have the rear parking sensors. It doesn't have the uh, 360 camera or anything like that, but all the sensors look to be in good shape here. Nothing's pushed in or cracked there. Um, and those would be covered if for some reason one of those stopped working under that extended coverage that we mentioned all the way up to 120,000 miles. Does have the spray and bed liner really good shape and even the plastic at the top of the tailgate you see a few scratches on it but it doesn't look like they used it as a, a work truck very much it was probably driven mostly on the highway just based based off of the condition of it again tires and passenger side underneath everything looks to be really really clean under here and i'm not seeing any door dings or scratches here on that passenger side i take that back i do see one scratch here uh, on that back passenger door it's got the rubber floor mats here all the way in the back no rips or stains in here it does have your two outlets back here as well your normal 120 volt and then of course your usb and c usb back here as well and you even have the uh the old time cigarette lighter. So you've got new, old, and uh, newer, I guess you could say, uh, on the, the outlet. It's got the power passenger seat with the lumbar assist there. Not seeing any rips there. Glove box looks to be in great shape. Again, the F-150 rubber mats continue to the front. I had the key in my pocket. It does have one key fob that we received with it and that it will come with. Uh, remote start, lock, and then of course you do even have your tailgate on here as well. Driver's seat looks to be in great shape. Again, no rips or stains. Rubber floor mats there. All of your options, light controls, mirror controls, and even your uh, foot pedal controls there on the left. It's got 9,300 miles on it. And then of course the big display screen that they came out with, I think it was in the 2021, um, all of your heated seats and climate controls are down there. You can even do it up here, I believe. Uh, I may be making that up. I know the older ones you were able to, they may have gotten away with it because it, you obviously have it down here as well. But you've got all your audio controls there um, and even your navigation there as well. Um, obviously these screens have gotten bigger the programming on these trucks have gotten more complex we have five service centers here if there's anything wrong with the programming on these we have to send it to the ford dealership or even on the dmc dealership 
because they're the only ones that have the access to those programs. So uh, that's where it gets pricey. Of course, it would cover your turbo on this truck as well as the transmission. So that extended coverage does make sense on these newer vehicles with as much technology and um, programming they have. But let me know if you have any questions cosmetically. I think you'll be happy with it. No weird smells, uh, nothing that points, uh, that jumps out at me. Um, everything looks to be in phenomenal shape for you.